chin right here, and the MJ, I'll let you sit here, and then I'll sit there. And so you can control the computer, and I'll help co-present what we're trying to work on. Uh -huh. yeah, that will be really helpful. That is the part we're talking about. Um, so that will be very helpful having it recorded uh, for us and if anyone could see Especially for people that wasn't able to come, they could still put their comments and their concerns and their ideas. Yeah, because that's one thing I don't do is I don't delete comments and I don't care what anybody posts as long as you ain't, you know, post anything something really, really crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> If you want to go on there and put vote Trump, that's fine, but I don't want to hear your darkest <laughs> secrets. I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't want to be in court. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be like, Amos, just come help me. <laughs> if you want to record this part just for you know, to share for transparency for um, your YouTube page, mm -hmm. that's totally fine, and so people could. Even connect with Mackenzie and try to learn more about this tool that we're like is trying to help develop and create for the residents here. So you're more than welcome to prop it on the table so you don't have to hold it. So you can. I don't weigh it. nothing. I mean, I'm fine right here. All right. Well. Don't weigh nothing, and I can zoom in and out. It's if she needs me to. It's. All right. So we'll go ahead and get started with this second portion. So. Um, this was before McKenzie got on board with Lycan um, last year, so this was something that me and the former CEC was developing, creating based on listening sessions. So the former CEC did about roughly 30 to 35 listening sessions with different members of the Harlan County community. Not really so many from Everett, so many from the city of Harlan, so many from Tri-Cities, so many in different pockets. And different perspectives, whether it's from leaders to residents' perspective, just a melting pot of people. And the goal of these listening sessions was to kind of get a general idea of what they know when it comes to water, wastewater, and um, issues and emergencies when it comes to those two factors. And so, like and Knowledge has started coding these listening sessions the past year and started trying to give a, a deeper listen and understanding from the resident's perspective of what information and knowledge would be helpful for the communities to know more about when it comes to their water and wastewater. And so this right here, what we have pulled up is what we like to call the Harlan County Water Resilience Toolkit. And this is not published yet. We're trying to get feedback from either our audience present here today and then the audience say, that may come up on YouTube when it comes to their comments and their ideas. And this toolkit is just basic information that we have gathered through listening sessions last year. And so over to the, I can't see, I don't think I need glasses. Um, I don't know why this um, toolbar is being weird. Let me go higher. Here we go. So on this kind of like table of content, um, contents page, we have several categories. Um, and the ones that I want to focus on today, and I think we both want to yeah. kind of just kind of hyper focus on, is how drinking water systems work, wastewater systems, and issues and emergencies. And so this is going to be kind of like a, you know, hypothetical, like imagining, like type of space of thinking that we're at right now. So if you was on this website, right, mm -hmm. you're in there and you're looking and you click. Um, how drinking water systems work. You click that tab. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be under that tab? What would you want to be under that tab? The water pur purification system. That's how that works. Okay, let me get let me get the tablet. Do it. Yeah. On the big stick bed, or do you want to do it on these or stick it on? Do it on those. I was thinking that. Yeah, do it on the sticky pads. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hold on. And you said. Yeah. How it's purified? How water is purified? Uh huh. Where's water coming? 
one spot. And how it's back there. And then the results were over there. I feel like what you're sharing and expressing is more under the water category. So I'm gonna try okay. to All right. I'm I'm gonna try to I, feel like I the, figured I got out of my lane here a little bit. No, you didn't. This is good. This is good. Keep keep throwing stuff at us. Repeat that question again. What did you say? So the, the first question part? I, so the question that I have is so on this drafted toolkit that we have developed based on last year's listening sessions with different pockets of residents throughout the Harlan County community, we've developed some information and detailed facts and links to hopefully push this tool out to the community residents and say, is this a helpful toolkit? But what we're trying to do first is to ground truth ourselves and make sure we got certain ideas and facts and information on our website before launching it out. So we're kind of having an open discussion of free listening. Yeah, I understand that. I just want to know what the question was. The question, the first... no, no, you're good. It is, uh, <laughs> no, you're good. I'm just, I'm, I'm, my brain is ADHD, so I have to go backwards and then forwards. I had um, later go through that whole presentation okay. again. <laughs> no, you're good. The question is how drinking water systems work. So if that's you click, tab. if that's the tab, so if you click that tab, what do you hope is in that tab? Like what type of information you hope to seek and learn when it comes to that. In uh, that tab, I'd want to know everything they's doing at the water plant, what they's putting in there, uh, and stuff like that, okay. you know? Mm-hmm. That would go with the man's question about how it's purified. I think. Yeah, yeah, how it's purified, yeah. Yes. Would that That's be, the would the information right? here... How they, how often they clean that plant? What are they doing to keep it maintained? That way, Lord and behold, Maybe. when we build this Maybe. new Maybe. one, Maybe. Uh, it, it lasts longer than 35 years. I mean, and may, yeah, maintenance yeah. including like cleaning and just fixes and updates. Updates, yep. Yeah. On that. Good. So, do you guys, whenever you guys yeah. do this, do you intend to have, because I know you could be like, oh, well, this is how some water systems work, or this is how, is it going to be Harlan specific? Um, this is just going to be general information um, just for the Harlan County community um, to understand like how their systems. So, it will be about the Harlan. Yes. System, yes. Okay. It'll be all about the Harlan systems. Okay. And with Harlan County, and you know, they have. This is like it's purified in different ways in different places. So I didn't know if it would be like. Pure. We have like so many systems, and it's going to talk about all of them. Each system yeah, is going to have something I was going to bring up. Yeah. Yeah. Is this more about District 2 and their water, or is, that, is this going to end up covering everything? All districts. Everything. Yeah. All okay. districts. Yeah. Okay. So make sure, yeah. we'll go ahead and write that down. Cool. Make sure all information. Um, covers all districts because when it comes to some of the information that we currently have on each district it's like who's involved who's in charge who do you contact whenever there is a situation well as and far as i can answer some of that as far as i know yeah. everett's city and harlan city own and pump the water b mud buys the water from harlan and everett's yeah. and then pumps it to their customers and charges them Bead Mud does not do anything to their water. They are just a pump station, period. They don't mm -hmm. they don't add any chemicals, they don't take nothing away, they just pump water. So who waters. does that? Everett's okay, in the city of Harlan. Yeah. So they're just they have the lines basically. Mm -hmm. And they're just the distribution. Yeah. But it's our because they don't have a supply. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. I think people would be really interested to know that. Mm-hmm. So, I, well, I got that information no, from Dan Mosley. It's on my on YouTube channel. Oh. <laughs> yeah. of how water is pumped throughout the district. I think most of the people on the BMO system probably know that, though, right? Well, I'd say once they get their bill because yeah. they see that surcharge from where they had to buy it from Everett's or Harlan. Yeah. 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 That's a good point, especially when you have that local knowledge and understanding of, like, just from a resident's perspective of how the water gets pushed through, some people that may live in the same, you know, maybe your next door neighbor may not know how that works or how that works. Oh, I know they works. don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I get an extra hand in, though. Yeah. Well, it really is. Um, we can talk about uh, water systems. Um, yes. So any other comments on, you know, if you click this link, 
How um, Also, I want to know if they who's working there, their names. I don't care. I don't want salaries and all that, but I think we should know who's working there, like you said, who's in charge. But not only that, everybody yeah. that works there, yeah. how long yeah. they've been there. And also, have they got any degrees? At least let me see their education. Make sure they're qualified. Yeah, What's just their qualification. Yeah, about? basic information yeah, about just basic uh, information employers. about them. Yeah, yeah. honestly, like how firm they just have like staff and then a little blurb like graduated from whatever. Right? Yeah, just that stuff. You yeah, know? and I think that would be really powerful to help build like a face to a name of who's involved. And this is a small system. town. Like, yeah, like Billy, yeah. Billy might have been going to school online to work in water, and the rest of us not know. And all of a sudden, he's working at the water plant. You know, and then everybody's gonna say, "Well, Billy ain't qualified." If you go in there and look, yeah, he is. Mm. You know, I feel like they'll build a sense of trust. Yes, it would. To the residents knowing that, oh, Billy just graduated, or Billy just got his class three certificate in water maintenance. Yeah, and that's amazing. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, you just know, just know people. people they're all kind of, of well, know about kind of off the yeah. mark. I mean, but no, yeah, sure. Our water bills collect uh, trash pickup. Disposal. Yeah. There's nobody, there's no way to know who you're supposed to contact for that. No, yeah. that in most there's no situations it is the city. Yeah. Because yeah. they uh, work for city, it's like city workers in most situations. I'm not sure all pockets of this county, but I know the ones yeah. I'm familiar with. Who's, do, who's um, doing our trash pickup? Where's yeah. it going? Um, now, I know in Harlan it may be a little different because it's all environmental. Stuff. It's my thing. Mm -hmm. And when you have a question about your, your trash pickup, nobody mm -hmm. knows who to call. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's a good point. And I'm going to actually put that as like a parking lot thought there about is. trash. Yeah, because if people know where to go to take stuff the, at, they wouldn't, you yeah. wouldn't find it on the side of the roads. I mean, if people know where to take it. It's pitiful. Yeah, it is. I just... What in the world? Um, on this next one, it is wastewater systems is the tab name. Uh, same thing as before. What would you hope you would find under that? What do you think you would be finding? If what are they doing with it? Wastewater. Yep. What system? Are they recycling it? What are they doing with it? If they're recycling it, how are they recycling it? I mean. Who's involved with the wastewater plant? Yep. Mm -hmm. Statuses. You want to help write thoughts? Oh yeah, I was thinking also um, with wastewater system. What's this? What's the name of the system I'm on? Like, yeah, mm, that's a good one. What's so the name the, of the system? Where are the connections? Are there like, can I look at a map of this system? Whatever, you know, which yes. is difficult to do. But <laughs> still trying to build my maps, but we're, we're getting there. Yeah, difficult. like the straight pipes go in the creeks, and the creeks go to the retention. Who's? How did they clean the? Toilet paper. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. About, oh, was I writing a microphone? Think about it. It's real. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, how are they um, treating the, um, the waste? Who works with the system? Um, Their qualifications. Of qualifications. Course. Yes, that is a good one. Oh, wait, we're talking about wastewater right now. I'm going to put this in the other one. Oh, no, you're good. Add it to the water. You're good. I guess um, work for that too. Like it's all I was about to say, it sounds like it go both ways. Though. Yeah, qualifications. Yeah, I got you. And everything that goes with that, you know. Yeah. And that's, this is a really interesting um, point. Um, and this is something that I hope that McKenzie is able to build bridges with, with um, one water system here in the Harlan County community. Um, Martin County's water system, um, they um, had not had great um, historical evidence of where lines were set in Martin County and like a map of where lines are. And so Linda Ormsby, an UK engineer, um, developed a map based on his ideology of where lines are. And then when Alliance Resources came in, they took that map as a skeleton and developed a new map of how to identify the system. And I was sharing with McKenzie, you know, how fruitful would it be it, to have a map that residents can look at to understand where their home is in the system, whether it's water or wastewater. Do you think that would be something helpful, is to have something like that, whether it's online or at, at the public library, so residents can have access to it? What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I think that would be 
a good idea. Maps. Yeah. Um, maps about each water system. That, again, will probably be a very long-term goal. They need that. I mean, that way they got a busted pipe. They need to know where it's at. I mean, where their water lines <laughs> are. <laughs> it sounds like an engineering a... issue. If you're going to build a house or if you're going to do this, it's like, so for me right now, I don't really care. Yeah, I just give me my clean water and get it out of here. Yes, yep. I get that. I think a lot of times systems do have, hopefully, a map internally, but they're... Yeah. Um, sometimes hesitant to share that with people again because of the safety concerns like someone could I guess break up a pop or something if they wanted to take out part of the system I guess but just attacks like that is part of the reason why systems don't want to share sometimes yeah with the yeah, risk of the whole community well I don't think that I think the maps might be outdated that they got because every time there's a line break in this yeah. district they they're like <laughs> after <laughs> Hour of two of locating it. If they had a map, hour they'd two. know. We yeah. Say hour two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, they should know right where it's at if they got a map. I mean, yeah. Yeah, and especially if they have it like GIS or if like a system to where they can track it, whether it's technology wise or like on a map wise, to where they can pinpoint with latitude and longitude where it's at and they can just. Pinpoint. Or is it bubbling? I think maybe that would yeah. be from earlier, like a concern that is like generally about the water system, not like stuff that would be on the tool toolkit though. But like that is good. Like would be very helpful to people. Like make sure that the water system has updated maps because I would like for a break to be fixed quicker if it's impacting me or mm -hmm. yeah. my family. Yeah. I understand where it's at. Yeah. Maps, yeah. yeah that's a good point. So, anything else, like when you click the tab of wastewater, what type of information would you like to know? Like, some of the things that we explored was, you know, different policies um, and what they are and how they mean to the community. Do you think that would be helpful, especially for just residents or for leaders? I, I guess the reason why I, I can't, because we have no sewage system. We have no, so. Uh, Everett City does, don't they? Everett's, the Everett's city. city. I'm, I'm in Cable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Everett City does. Mm -hmm. And I'd want to make sure. The only thing with that, I just want to make sure they ain't mixing my drinking water with their sewer water. And if they are, how are they filtering it? I mean, that's, mm -hmm. you know. A lot of times that sewage goes right back into that retention pond. And they pump yeah, it out and filter it. And they have chemicals to it. And it, yeah. it, to it, and it goes right back on its happy way right back to you. Yeah. yeah. So I want to know how they're doing that. And I want to make sure that guy's qualified to do I that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just somebody <laughs> throwing <laughs> stuff in there. Right. Yes. A little bit more of that. Yeah. Um, not RCAP. Hey, Fido, go taste that. That's what I was thinking of, like, CAP. Yeah, RCAP, like the Community Action Program. I'm thinking about it from a power You know, I would really like to know that. How many communities in Harlan have sewage systems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like connected to city sewer or having their own septic system. Which one do you need? Or both? Both. Both. Well, if you if you map the city sewers and know where they was at, then you'd pretty much know everybody else has to have a septic tank. Or a straight pipe. Or they're straight piping into the <laughs> river. Right. It's either or. It's, it's either or. Flip. It's a coin flip between heads or tails if they're not on the city sewer. Yep. Yeah, and so I guess another thing would be, would you like to see, like, let's just say, for example, you're building a new home, and you're looking for information about, okay, I'm not really interested in getting on the city sewer, but I'm thinking about maybe a septic system. Would that type of information do you think would be helpful for residents, or no? I, I don't think that would be too much helpful in the tool. Maybe if you're building and tell you where you might need to go and talk to if you're doing that. Yes. That's but, what I was meaning. Yeah. yeah. Just like resources and connections of like, this is who I need to call. If you're building a new home. Yep. Yes. Okay. Or you want to put a trailer on a piece of property mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. yeah. That would usually be an engineer or somebody at the county level, right? Yeah. And just getting their contacts and resources so um, they can know like, oh, I'm wanting to build a home here. I need to put some sewer lines and water lines here. This is who you call to get that process started and get a quote.
So anything else under the wastewater section? Maybe. I feel like I would pick it up. And, but what am I paying for? Or why does it cost this? Mm -hmm. it might be good for both. Breakdown of the bill. Yeah. Yes. yes that's Which I think there's usually like at least some. Like if there are extra charges on there for certain things, but mm -hmm. like why does it cost this much or whatever? Yes, understanding that process of like there are certain types of fees and like hookup fees and how it all connects and the reason why consumers have to pay for that. I was looking at something yesterday. Second bill. In 2015, I did a breakdown of what my monthly bills were, mm -hmm. and my water bill at that time was thirty five dollars, and now it's like what fifty one. Lord have mercy. Uh, A month? Yeah. Oh, have we, have we gotten, would this be in another thing? Like, are there local, or like, are there things that I can do to get water, my water bill to be more affordable? I don't think that's so much an issue in Harlan from the people that I've talked to, but yeah. do, what do you think? Um, For some people it is. Like, maybe. But, Comparatively speaking, though, right. for Martin County, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I need all the work built for minimum. But that, that's, that's like a lot of their main <laughs> concern sometimes, whereas here it's like, oh, uh, maybe you might want to. That's what I was immediately thinking about being uh, a problem. Uh, so not that it's not a problem at all. Right. But. So this is maybe something that we can think about with the affordability aspect. Like, whenever it comes to other counties, and especially my county, there's this thing where they do a leak adjustment. And understanding, like, if you have a leak in your home, and you fix it, and you show them proof that you fixed it, they will drop your bill from 10,000 gallons to 5,000 gallons and make you pay that price. And you can do that once, um, you can do that um, once a year. Yeah, they do that here. They do wow, that here. Wow, that's so, nice. And so that information can be, I, uh, I know we've already passed the water, but maybe we can um, put that as a, you know, in the toolkit, like how can you get in contact with, um, how can you get in contact with um, the water system whenever you have a leak and you need a leak adjustment bill um, if you fix the leak? Like, if, what's the protocol? Who do we need to contact to, get, to uh, help the resident accommodate fixing their leak in their home, especially if it's on their side of the meter? So, I want to put that. And they don't really ask for no proof. You just they don't. know. Just, I mean, they're going to see it in the water. Adjustment, you know what I mean. If you got a leak, they're gonna see they're that gonna you. See it. Yeah, they're gonna see that you fixed it. I mean, I actually, I know that I had to use that once. Me and my wife took off, went on a little vacation, come back, and went. It froze hard around here. Pipe busted. Been sitting there running for about two or three days, and I fixed it. When I got my bill, my bill was almost two hundred bucks. I called them, told them what had happened. She said she'd send somebody up there to look at the meter. They went up there and popped my meter, saying my meter wasn't spinning real fast. Right. Mm -hmm. And she took it back to normal month because my bill is usually $50 a month. That's all yeah. my bill ever is. And then I, all of a sudden, 100 and something. Yeah, in the winter times, you know, it wasn't filling up no pool or nothing like that, right. you know. So, so um, we only got um, almost 10 minutes left, but I don't want to... Um, miss um, talking about issues and emergencies and then we'll kind of slowly wrap things up. Um, so if you click the tab on this Harlan County Toolkit and you click emergencies and issues, what type of information do you think will pop up regarding water and wastewater? Emergency contact information. Making sure you know which contact for which district who you need to call based on the type of emergency. You're hoping that type of information is in there. I think that's very important. Yeah, it should be broke down by the district. Broke down by district. Yeah. Because like her, if there's a problem in District 2 up here, and she's in Kaywood, that's what, District 4, 5, 4, then it doesn't concern her, you know. That's a good point. And especially being able to, like, break down, like, by district, and then if, if it's like, this, if this number is after work hours, this is who you call. Do you think that would be helpful yes. for like after hours? Yeah. Especially if you've got a break. And for people like her, they need to know, she definitely needs to know where does B Mud get her water from? You know, where do they, where does B Mud source it at? Because that way, if there's a problem with that water, 
then she knows who she needs to contact if it's the city of Harlan because where she's on B Mud, you yeah. know, or is it Everts? Who who does she need to call? Or even if you've just got questions, why, yeah. is, why is my water flat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like a all call service, just to kind of help understand, like if there's any pressing matters or concerns that you would like to voice them to your water systems, you know, district, and just kind of get some like answers, like, hey, I don't know if anyone's called you about this, but like a hotline, huh? I just said like a hotline. Yeah, kind of like a hotline. Yeah. Well, I know. I know a lady that lives further up the creek from me, and um, <clears throat> they had, were having some issues with their water delivery. I don't know if they were fixing a leak or, or what, but she, I wasn't having any problems with my water, but she was right on up the road. I mean, her, she was she didn't have any water, mm -hmm. and then when it did come out, it was black. And I think of so just, that's where the tower would come in handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that is a good point. So when I think of issues and emergencies, like I think of not just the local people that you need to get in contact with, but like the next level of people like EPA, CDC, you know, big leagues, you know, um, that uh, or the PSC, Public Service. Yeah, Commission. Division well, of Water. Do you think I think it would keep the lower level people a little bit more accountable. If people, if they knew that people knew how to contact the, the higher leads. ups, oh, yeah. so the big leads, so contact yeah. information for the big leads, such as people yeah. like control, you know, policy regulation. It's good to keep everybody accountable. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. If somebody called, people were calling the Division of Water here, right? Whenever this was going on, mm -hmm. well, it's still going on, but whenever that that was great. Yeah, yeah that was very good. Yeah. Not that, you know, yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> no, that's a good point. That's a good point. At least you can say you tried. You know? Yeah. For sure. Call Uncle Andy and find out. I don't know. What about, you know, when it comes to this section, what about your local leaders? So, like, you have your water system and their contact and information. You've got the big wigs, such as, you know, um, Kentucky Div Division of Water, EPA, CDC, whoever, um, PSC. What about your magistrates? What about your mayor? What about your judges? Do you think having them on emergencies contact list underneath the issues and emergencies from just like a local leader? The judge level? executive, maybe. The magistrates, no. Like the judge executive, mostly? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. about, do you all have a deputy judge here? No. Like a second in command? No. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I think all them boys need to know. It's on a need to know basis. If I was a magistrate, now I would want to know what was going on in my district. Well, I figured if Dan, yeah, but I wouldn't want them calling all five magistrates. Oh. You know what I mean for a problem in one district. If they call Dan, Dan, I got a problem in Kaywood. He knows to get a hold of your magistrate. That is a good point. You know, it? just yeah. calling all five of them. You know, they can call Dan, and Dan can Dan will get the ball rolling. I mean, he'll yeah. he'll get it going. Awesome. Because really, the matter sticks just to make sure Dan's doing his job right. They keep him in check. Yeah. That's their job. So you wouldn't think you would call the magistrate first for them to sound on you or no? No, I'd call Dan Mosley first and then let Dan call whoever the magistrate is in the area. So I'm so sad to slowly start wrapping up slowly with um, all this great discussion today. This information right here will definitely help Mackenzie and myself and the rest of our Lycan team deep dive into our toolkit and make sure these comments that you're speaking on are in this toolkit and meets the standards of based on this discussion that we've had today. And if there's any residents that either comment on your YouTube channel about this topic and their ideas of what information they would like to see in a generalized toolkit for the Harlan County community, you can definitely get in contact with McKenzie and she can definitely take that feedback as well. Mm -hmm. um, but anything else you want to add on any component of this before we um, slowly wrap up? No, I think we've covered it. No, this has been great. This has been awesome. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Mackenzie, you can um, explain the last part. Now, I have this uh, QR code for you all leave if everyone would just uh, scan it with your phone. It can is a questionnaire phone? just to help us. Um, Keep track of who's been involved yeah. and who's been here. So that is the last thing I got there for you, though. And if your phone, I was going to say, if your phone's finicky, I have paper copies. The and she can, uh, the, um, the camera, yes, ma'am, you know what I'm doing. All righty, guys, we're done. Any questions? Just comment below. These girls are answering them, I'm sure.